probably get the name wrong, but this is Oosterschilde. Uh, it's a Dutch ship that was a trading vessel originally. It's had many lives, uh, but it was built at the uh, turn of the last century, in the early 1900s, and was restored by uh, public donations. Beautiful ship, and she's the only one of her kind uh, out of Holland. It may be a beautiful ship, but they're bloody close. I don't think they had bow thrusters in the early 1900s. There is no doubt this is a beautiful, beautiful ship. And there you go for my Dutch friends. There's the Schadmeister with uh, Oosterschelde or Oosterschelde, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sure you'll correct me. Well, look who just turned up. As you can see, it's blowing a bit today again. And the uh, haze is back. James is over there doing things in his boat and uh, I'm here doing stuff in mine. It's Sunday and uh, there's no one around. The local fleet are laid up. There's another yacht just come in recently. The main thing I'm sorting out today is water. Uh, these are reused five litre containers, which I have a lot of, and I've got tap water in them. It's what I would call good tap water, European tap water, and it's safe to drink. But I use it mostly for cooking and for cups of tea and cups of coffee. Um, I've also got uh, brand new uh, bottled water uh, down here, which is spring water, which you can drink uh, unboiled, uh, unheated up. That's, that's mineral water fresh uh, for uh, cold drinks. So there I've got um, tap water on one side, uh, but good drinkable tap water and uh, mineral water on the other side. And that's just one of the storages. That's actually under my bunk in the front of the cabin. See, look, look at this, oh my God. Yeah, everywhere you look around this boat, there's water stashed, and that's for a good reason. I've got a very big passage ahead of me. You might already know where I'm going from uh, Facebook if you follow me on there, but if you don't, well, going somewhere rather special. <laughs> and where am I going? Uh, I'm gonna do the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm going to sail single-handed across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, I'm going to leave the next few days. It's part of the ongoing adventure. Uh, this adventure is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's a promise. Uh, it's going to get more exciting. Safely exciting, I may add. <laughs> going to see some exotic places, some wonderful places. Uh, aiming, first of all, for the Caribbean. Guess where I'm going. In the meantime, can a corned beef reach its sell-by date? Do I eat it or not? Maybe I'll just turn it into a curry and be damned. Got a problem, uh, trying to get the boat ready for leaving uh, Mindelo and uh, that normally goes in there, it's like that one and it's leaking and there's a kind of weird valve system here. I've taken it ashore and there's no way I can get a uh, replacement so I need to seal that off and the only thing I can think of is uh, <laughs> something I don't really use much these days. Uh, yeah, so I might as well put it to some good use. I'm gonna stick that on there and see what happens. Well, that's the idea. Let's just see how strong these things are. They'll stop a baby, will they stop a flood? Right, turn the power on back to the water pump and see what happens. It's good, it's holding. So there you go, basically, uh, that condom has gone into the barrel here sealed up the valve and stopping the water coming through. This one, of course, uh, still works. That's all I need, because this is hot water and I haven't got any hot water at the moment. 
and it's it's basically <laughs> acting like a well a penis in a vagina and uh, I know that one works <laughs> so if I ever run short I know there's a spare one just got awoken in the middle of the night uh, there's a boat uh, backing down onto James yeah these these guys here were back down on James is here bloody windy tonight again there you go that's him and James is just back there they've smoothed off now. <sighs> looks like it's going to be a nice day but uh, after last night's debacle with uh, a boat uh, again hitting poor old James of another problem there's James over there and just up here they moved last night it was the one that uh, went backwards into him and this morning I got this guy parked in front of me I've told him already you're too close yeah it's all going on this morning these fishermen on the left here are arguing with the rescue boat which is like the local lifeboat here because they just ran over where they're fishing and they're about to cast their net on a, a whole load of fish and these guys have disturbed it all yeah, you can see how close he is, and we're due a lot of wind uh, later on today and tomorrow. A little later on, James decided to take his boat Moonrise into the local marina at Mindelo. This had been the third time that he'd been hit during this trip, and none of those incidents were his fault, just caused by other people anchoring badly near him. The great thing about cruisers is we all get together. If somebody needs help, there's always help there and a crew from a Dutch boat and a crew from another boat, which will also become my friends, uh, the crew of Bella, uh, turned out in force to help James. Okay. Now, Bill, I'm, I'm, waiting. I'm waiting for the broken, the broken ankle. Three. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> You've got your wallet on board, James. I decided that since everybody else had gone in the marina, I should go in too. Went into town with my new friends from the yacht Bella and discovered a old Ford. I used to actually own one of these. Scary, scary, scary.